Welcome to RadicalWellnessTV.com. This is Laura Lee, and I am a nutritional herbalist, a natural health facilitator, and a myotherapist. And I am here to help you have some natural healing tips that you can proactively use in your daily lifestyle with the things that are around you or things you might not be aware of. I can go ahead and maybe turn you on to things you're not being aware of. I'm talking about this topic today is industrial hemp. Practical products, paper to fabric to cosmetics. A lot of people don't know that you can pretty much make everything out of hemp. It's pretty amazing stuff. I have some other videos on this, but I'm going to go ahead and just talk about what hemp can be used for, starting with paints and sealants. Who would have guessed? Paints and sealants. The, until the 1930s, linseed and hemp oils made up the majority of all resins, paints, shellacs, and varnishes. In Texas, for example, the Sherwin-Williams Paint Company made use of hemp oil for its products. Yet with the advent of less expensive petroleum-based paints and sealants combined with the government hemp ban of 1937, hemp products disappeared from the marketplace. <clears throat> wow, what a good market uh, move, huh? What a good business move. Paper. This book is printed on tree-free hemp paper. Hemp, this book right here. Hemp has a yield per acre several times higher than that of trees. Its longer fibers create high quality paper for books, magazines, and stationery, while the shorter fibers make excellent newspaper, tissue paper, and packaging materials. Until the late 19th century, the world relied on annual crops such as hemp, flax, and cotton for its paper. <clears throat> the low linen cotton of hemp fiber allows for environmentally friendly bleaching without the use of harsh chlorine compounds. Tree-free paper mills, unlike most traditional pulp mills, can sustain healthy fish populations downstream. Hemp paper resists decomposition and is not subject to the age-related yellowing in wood of wood-derived papers. In fact, hemp paper, more than 1,500 years old, has recently been found. Because of the strength of hemp fiber, paper made of hemp can be recycled several times more than paper made of wood. Rising populations combined with accelerated deforestation are motivating the paper industry to explore non-wood fiber sources. Two German mills have begun to produce hemp paper, and Kimberly Clark, a United States Fortune 500 company, operates a mill in France to produce hemp paper for Bibles and cigarettes. Emerging technologies will allow for more cost-effective helping. Interesting, huh? Pharmaceuticals. In the early 20th century, hemp extracts were commonly used by major pharmaceutical companies such as Eli Lilly to make a variety of medicines. Perhaps that is why the American Medical Association testified against the prohibition of hemp in the 1937 congressional hearings to ban the crop. It is becoming increasingly well known that hemp's oils, high vitamin and essential fatty acid content assist the body's natural healing abilities. Plastics. Hemp can be used to manufacture plastic products in a variety of different ways, including the following. One, the herds are processed into cellophane packaging material, plant-based cellophane, common until the 1930s, is still in use today. Number two, the herds can be manufactured into disposable plates and cups for low cost, comp comp compostable styrofoam replacement. Number three, the seed oil can be converted into valuable plastic resin. Several German firms are developing 100% hemp cellulose plastic composites for the manufacture of snowboards and skateboards. As was mentioned previously, Henry Ford even used hemp to build car doors and fenders. Plant-based plastics such as hemp and corn can be completely biodegradable. The use of hemp for plastics will reduce oil consumption and the processing of petrochemicals. Plastic packaging, the kind found inside cereal boxes, for example, made from hemp can be composted at home, eliminating some of the high costs of landfilling or of recycling petroleum-based plastics. Textiles. The third largest industry in the world is the manufacture of textiles. Hemp textiles offer a multiplicity of fabric uses for bedspreads, blankets, backpacks, carpeting, clothing, draperies, furniture, hats, luggage, mattresses, sails, sheets, shoes, shirts, tents, and towels, to name only a few items. Hemp textiles have a number of advantages over other fabrics. According to the Chinese Academy of Sciences, 
Fabrics with at least a 50% hemp content block the sun's UV rays more effectively than do other fabrics. Compared to cotton fibers, hemp fibers are longer, stronger, more lustrous, and absorbent, and more mildew resistant. Hemp fabrics also keep the wearer cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter than do cottons or synthetics. The hemp textile industry is developing yarn that is lighter weighted and more uniform with what is currently available. This will allow for much more anticipated, much anticipated manufacture of hemp, t-shirts. Still, another way of making fine textiles from hemp is now being rediscovered in Europe. The cottonization process converts long, thick hemp fibers into cotton-like bundles, or hemp flock, that can be then be processed in existing spinning and weaving equipment. Companies in Great Britain are pioneering the blending of hemp with fibers such as wool, flax, and cotton to produce fashionable apparel. So that's really interesting, and I'm going to go ahead and the next chapter is about today's hemp industry. All the different countries that hemp actually is okay in and which countries not so okay in. And I wonder why. Anyway, love life and life will love you back. We'll see you on the next video. I hope this helps. This is a solution. There's a dozen solutions behind every problem. So we're all going to be okay. We just need to buck up our sleeves, get to work, and have fun. Love each other and serve. Anyway, we'll see you on the next video. Comment and share. Bye-bye for now.